on your commands more to any page. If you're new to this channel, you're highly, highly welcome. Do well to hit the subscribe button and continue to share these wonderful videos to students out there all over the world that needs to work, you know, improve their skills on math. All right, so today we have a simple problem on exponentials or indices. So let's quickly apply the principles of indices or exponential to be able to solve this problem. All right, so the first thing I want to understand in this problem is, okay, we can see the radical signs or the, you know, the root signs. Okay, remember if I have this, okay, or usually we just write this without putting the two, okay, we can write this as power of what if I have x here, so I can say x raised to the power, this sign means what raised to the power of half. So what about this? Okay. So this means what? This means you want to write y raised to the power of one third. So what about if I have this? Okay, it means I want to write as what? Z raised to the power of what? One fourth. So on and on it goes, all right? So for this, I can write this part as what? Nine raised to the power of what? Using this, so one third. Okay, multiply by what about this? I can write this as 9 raised to the power of what? We can say 1 sixth. All right? Now that we have this, it is now simpler to solve. So I'm going to have, now applying the law of indices, remember if I have a, okay, same base, let's say we have a raised to the power of n times a raised to the power of what? n. All you want to do is what? You want to pick one of these and what? Add the what? Powers. So remember, we are going to apply this law. So now that we have you know, the same basis, you know, when we are multiplying the same basis, we are going to pick one of these. So I'm going to have 9, okay, raised to the power. Then we're going to add this just like we did here. So I have 1 third plus what? 1 sixth, okay? Now that we have that, we can now solve, you know, the fractions by adding it. So let's add the fractions to see what we are going to get. So we have 9 raised to the power of 1 third plus what? 1 sixth. Okay, so let's solve 1 third plus 1 sixth. Okay, now I can decide to use what? Equal what? Denominator. Now, since 6 is divisible by 3, so it means I can multiply this by 2. And I start can also multiply this by 2, okay? So that this becomes what? 2 over what? 6 plus what? 1 over what? 6. Okay, this method of solving fraction is called equal denominator method, all right? So I made the denominators to be the same, okay? Thereby, I can just pick one as the LCM and add the power, so 2 plus 1. So we have this as what? 3 over what? 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. And 3 over 6, we can reduce that. So 3 into itself is 1. 3 into what? 6 is what? 2. All right. So this is going to be what? We have 9 raised to the power of what? 1 over what? 2. All right. But we have to remember that what? 9 also means 3 times 3, which is what? 3 raised to the power of what? 2. Okay. Since 9 is 3 raised to the power of 2, we can substitute 9 as what 3 raised to the power of what 2 into this. So we are going to have okay, 3 raised to the power of 2 brackets multiplied by 1. Remember the law of indices when you have double power, let's say you have a raised to the power of n multiplied by n times. So you are going to simply what multiply the powers, right? We are going to apply this law to this, and what it means is we have 3 raised to the power of 2 times 1 over 2, okay? So these two can cancel out these two, so it's 1, 1. So we are left with 3 raised to the power of 1, which is also what, 3, okay? Or from here, half means what square root, so you can simply take the square root of 9, which is also what, 3. So 3 gives us what? The simple solution to this, you know, problem on exponential. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. 
if you leave a comment or two and share this video to somebody else. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.